open master cam and go to create expand it and you will get all those menus here rectangle rectangular shapes polygon ellipse letters or you will get all those menus you go to the uh, sketch menu and expand here and you will get all those menus here as well so we'll start with creating a rectangle and go click on create rectangle and if you feel that the space graphics window is small opt for click alt and o and you can see that these are the things available on the ribbon and by default you can see that we will we can define a rectangle by defining the two diagonal corners and after you define the corners you can enter the value of width and height then if you want to modify the first or second point you can very well do that and if you think that if you want to define or uh, it if it's better to define the center point for creating a rectangle you can anchor you can click on anchor to center and the first point will become the center point of uh, this particular uh, rectangle or if you want to change it edit it click on that and define any point or snap it to any end point or place it randomly click on the screen so I am going to create the rectangle on the origin and now I am pressing F9 to get the axis and if you want to create a surface along with this rectangle you, you have to click this create surface and click OK now let us see how to create rectangular shapes click on create rectangular shapes you will get this dialog box and I am entering the values of width and height as 50 and if you want we have 9 options of defining the anchor point I have opted for center so I take this radio button which is on the center of this points array of points and I define the coordinates as center and we have different shapes here if rectangle capsule shape D and this shape so if you feel that the orientation is not correct you can change the angle whatever you like 45 degree or 90 degree or if you want to define a radius to rectangle or all the other shapes you can very well do that if you want to create a surface for these shapes you will get that and so based on your requirement you can select the sh shape and anchor point now let us see how to create a polygon so I'm going to define uh, create a six sided polygon and the radius let it be 25 and here I have opted for flat I am going to enter the coordinates as 0, 0, 0, 0 and you will get this uh, polygon whose value here across the flat dimension is 50 
and the off corner you will get a polygon inscribed inside the circle so the dimension 25 is the center of the circle to the to this end point so if you take measure corner to corner you will be getting 50 now let us see how to create an ellipse here you have to define major and minor radius and I position it on the center on the origin some point uh, difficulty in getting the exact point here So this is the ellipse that you get. Now if you want to create letters, click on this create letters and you can select any of the fonts. I'm opting for Arial Bold then uh, let me type the letters and this is the height and spacing and I'm going to define so this is this is what you get when you opt for horizontal and the height and gap is 20 and 5 so I click OK and define the locating point and if I opt for vertical you will get this type of lettering Now I'm going to create, orient these letters on top of an arc with arc radius of 5. Click on top of the uh, circle and you will get this type of orientation. If you opt for bottom of the arc, you will get this type of orientation. and if you want to create letters which follow this chain you can click on top of chain and 
you click uh, the full chaining option and you select any one of the lines or arc and this point will be the starting point of orientation of the letters if you don't like this uh, starting point you delete the selection and select the chain and you can select other uh, lines or circle in the chain which define the starting point I'm unselecting last and I'm okay with the uh, the letter starting from this point and I'm clicking OK and you can see that all these letters are oriented based on the chain that we have selected 